Um, if you're going to say that you believe in B theory of time, and you're going to say that uh, things that happen can happen themselves before they exist, that would be nonsense, right? Because we know that we're happening. And even if it's an illusion... Um, um, yeah, but th it's the it that you keep equivocating between the passage of time and reality. And you keep saying that they're the same thing, that if time does, if, if this time passing is an illusion, then everything is, a, is an illusion. And I'm saying that's not the case. Um, well, I am saying that uh, if you're saying that the world in which we live and we're uh, observing causality, the observance of time is an illusion, I don't know what the difference is. Um, uh, in other words, we're really not happening, but uh, it, we're just not happening. And it's an illusion that we are happening, uh, even though um, every uh, experience that we have of this existence is happening. I mean, to me, it just seems like real simple sp special pleading. Well, like I say, it's, it's, it's because of this intuitive notion that things look like things look as if they that time passes. Yeah, and I darn, darn the way we're made, huh? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I say darn the way we're made. I mean, we can't live in a world that we don't experience, and we can't just say, well, you know, I always say it, you know, I could say there's, uh, uh, you know, green Martians that live under my desk, and they, they eat ham and cheese, but I, they, you can't see them because uh, they don't like cameras. I mean, I can say any but, number of things, and that's all I hear you yeah. saying. But the point is, the only way that would make sense is if they were completely undetectable because we but we can detect b theory granted not in our everyday intuition in the same way the reason why time lapses are so amazing is because we see things that we don't usually see so when you i wouldn't just recommend doing this but if you look at the sun then you it looks pretty stationary it looks like it doesn't move that much but you look back an hour later and it's moved in the sky in a sort of you know yeah. you know not in the literal okay. way, you know what i mean well, Dave, what you're basically doing then is is, is conceding my argument because I am saying that B theory exists, but I'm making a distinction between B theory and A theory as cause and effect. But you're not doing that. You're trying to make them the same thing, and you violate the law of identity. Well, no, you're well, just saying, saying it's magic. That's how it works. That we just can't perceive it's magic. Well, no, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying you can't have you can't hold a B theory and then an A theory. You can't say uh, that time exists, I guess, timelessly, and then began to exist. Um, that's right, because time in itself is the measurement of contingency moving with itself, or among itself. So, so basically the point I'm making is that, for example, the Coulomb cosmological argument is predicated on the, the, the A theory of time. That's what I say, but to, to deny that is just special pleading. But then the point I'm making is that you say that God existed in this B theory of time and then this became the A theory of time. It didn't become, no. Well, yeah, it became in that he, he made it ex nihilo. In other okay. words, all it is is contingency moving each other. Okay, now, so time, time may have some elements that we don't understand in the realm of B theory, but, but we, we, can't, uh, we can't probe that because we can't experience it because we haven't. We can't live in a world that we don't experience, and we can't just say, well, you know, I always say it, you know, I could say there's, uh, uh, you know, green Martians that live under my desk and they, they eat ham and cheese, but I think you can't see them because uh, they don't like cameras. Well, You're just I'm saying, saying it's magic. That's how it works. That we just can't perceive it's magic. So I say to, to, to deny that is just special pleading. The point I'm making is that you say that God existed in this B theory of time, and then this became the A theory of time. It didn't become no. Well, yeah, it became in that he he made it ex nihilo. In other okay, words, so, all it is is contingency moving each other. Okay, now, so time, time may have some elements that we don't understand in the realm of B theory, but but we we can't uh, we can't probe that because we can't experience it because we haven't. Well, the, the problem with that is then, when did God create the, the first moment? Uh, at the moment that matter was created. Okay, so so before the moment before, on this infinite timeline, where along this infinite timeline did God... I, I, I have no idea moment? because I don't know what time is outside of contingent matter relating to motion. Well, no, that's, that's kind of my point. Um, if you're going to say that you believe in B theory of time, and then you're going to say that uh, things that happen can happen themselves before they exist, that would be nonsense, right?